first, we're going to check out what is cooking with our good friend Amanda from Hy-Vee, <laughs> who just happens to be in our kitchen where we're going to run, yeah. run, run right now. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. By the good. way, this segment is brought to you by hi mm -hmm. My goodness, did you bring breakfast? I did. I brought above? some baked egg muffins with smoked salmon and dill. Ooh. There's Ooh. creme fraiche in there, a little horseradish, uh, green onions. It's a delicious combination, and I just wanted to talk all about eggs and mm -hmm. how they're okay to eat every single day. I'm here to debunk the myth. Okay, good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is hard to keep track anymore because, yeah, they're good. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No, it, there's a huge argument. Okay, tell us. Yeah. You said we can eat them every day. It's every okay. day. I yes. can eat them every meal. I don't know if too, yeah, much, too much is too much, <laughs> but uh, tell me what you think. So, for eggs, we used to think that we needed to limit it because it does contain cholesterol. But anything that has a liver has cholesterol. Mm. Your chicken, your beef, your, ev your everything, animal product wise. Yeah. And what we learned is our livers actually make most of our cholesterol. So when we eat cholesterol, our bodies actually produce less to even it out. So really, us, our dietary cholesterol mm -hmm. or the cholesterol we eat does not affect our cholesterol. It's actually more related to sugar, saturated fats, fried foods, not getting the fiber you need. Mm -hmm. So eggs are actually more of a superfood that we should include for heart health and not to avoid for heart health, include for heart health. I think that sounds <laughs> just fine. I think we've got the green light to go with the eggs, which is always that. I'm going to trust her on this one. Yeah, I am too. Um, and now here's something that it looks to me like you have done. It looks like you've done this wonderful recipe where you bake these. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a little quiche, but you don't have to mess with the crust because that's going to leave a whole lot of the carbs and what have you out exactly. of the equation. Exactly. This right? is a great meal prep recipe, and you could do any eggs in a muffin tin. It's very simple. You just whisk up your eggs. Um, you can add any vegetable, cheese. If you want to add a little bacon, that's fine too. Um, and then you just mix it up, put it in a sprayed muffin tin, pop it in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes or so, given you know the size of your muffin tin. That's it fast. Vary, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you could freeze them for later or reheat them throughout your week. And it's just another fun way to have eggs. Um, you know, there's a million ways to include eggs, and it's an affordable protein. The, so the freezing them is a good idea because you can bring them to work with you, let them thaw yes. out, maybe, and they'll be real nice, like just oh, microwave yeah. them just a little bit. I mean, these yep. are just gorgeous. How many is in a serving here? Would you say? So for the, maybe it depends on what you put in them. Yeah. So for the recipe, made about ten of these. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on the person, your serving would vary. So um, each egg is around seven grams of protein. So it kind of goes back to how much protein you and your, bo your body needs, mm -hmm. um, weight, height, gender. Um, so someone could have a couple of these, pair it with some fruit, and that's a pretty darn balanced meal. Mm -hmm. Fruit mm -hmm. or a salad or something yes. like that would be, oh, yeah, really, this would be really, really good. Oh yeah, this would be great for lunch Very too. simple too, because you can mm -hmm. you know put it in the oven, do whatever you're gonna do, come back, bing, it's done. Yes, and not only are you getting a good, affordable protein that's very absorbed very readily. You're also getting lutein, which is key for um, reducing your risk of cataracts or macular degeneration. Ooh. So it's very protective of your eyes. And we're seeing now that more and more people are having eye issues with all the screen time that we have now. So including eggs in your diet can also be protective of that. Okay, now you know you say eggs are good. You can have it. What about the the thing of yeah, egg whites are good for you, but not the yolk or vice. How does that? Is there anything to that? I've always wondered. Question. Yeah. So the yolk is the part that contain the cholesterol. So that's why a lot of people avoided the yolk. But really, if you leave out the yolk, sure you're still getting protein from egg whites, mm -hmm. but you're lacking all of those antioxidants and the deliciousness from the yolk. I would agree. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. you you wouldn't be getting the choline, which is really key for our brain development for babies, pregnant women, or even us, yeah. um, the lutein, the vitamin A, the vitamin D. So mm. if you skip out on that, you're missing out on so much great nutrition. Something I want to show you. Just eat the whole egg. Just eat the whole egg, egg. egg. yes. Uh, it looks <laughs> to me like the recipe might be right here in one of your Seasons magazines. Yes, it's in Seasons magazine. Okay. You can also find it at hyvee.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can search the baked egg muffin recipe and it'll pop right up. So if you don't have the magazine, but pick up the magazine if you're yes. in the store because yep. they're free and they're great. 
great. Or, but you can get it online too. Yeah, and it has several egg recipes in it. It highlights eggs like a lot this year, which I'm a big fan of. There's even cloud eggs, which I, I can't that. wait to try that. It is so fun. It's almost Hold like that they up make... for a second. What's, the, what's going on around here? Yeah. The cloud. What is the cloud? So they up? basically whisk up the egg whites like a meringue. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, then afterwards, they separate it and then they add the yolk back on. So it is a little bit extra work, but look how fun that is. And just that is pretty. Trying food in new ways is what keeps eating healthy exciting. Speaking of trying food. Fabulous. So yes. Being yes. Yeah. Anyway, good to I see you, Amanda. Good to see you you guys are out at, at Hy-Vee certainly and mm -hmm. uh, you know you can get the recipes online as well so yeah. good that's stuff. what's cooking at Hy-Vee. Yeah that's it what's cooking. That. All eggs. right. All right we'll be right back after this. Mm.